Hi Year 3, welcome to this week's spelling lesson. Hope you're all enjoying the sun, it's so hot today that I've had to come outside for today's lesson. Although today is Thursday the 25th, so who knows by the time you watch this video it could be raining again. Hopefully not. For today's lesson you'll need our Year 3 4 spelling word list. And you do have a copy in the back of your original home learning book. However, we've also sent you a copy with the email this week, so you'll need that at hand as well. Now, there are some really tricky spellings on there, and just remember that you don't need to know them all yet. This is for the whole of year three and four, so there will be some you know, some you don't, but how amazing will it be for your new year four teacher if you already know a few before you join year four, they'll be very proud of you. Now, for our starter then today, if you look at your year three, four word list, what I've done is I've chosen a few of those words and I've muddled them up a bit, and I want to see if you can work out which ones they are. Here you go, have your best go. Today, we're going to practice spelling eight words off that list because although they're tricky, there's some really clever ways to remember them. Miss Cole, have you got any ways to remember some of those year three, four word spellings? Thanks, Mr. Preston. Right, hi everyone. These are the words that I've picked for you this week off the three and four spelling word list. Let's read them together. What's this one? Question. Believe. Learn. Often. I wonder if you can use those words in a sentence. It's important when we're writing our words that we learn how spelling strategies. So I've got some tips for you today for these four words. Let's start with our top one. Question. I can see a word hidden inside. Can you? I can see this word. Quest. Do you know what a quest is? A quest is some a search for something. You're going to... Usually a bit of a journey in search of something. Right, so a quest. I can also see I and on. So when I think of the word question, I say to myself, quest, I, on. And that helps me with my spelling. I also know that if I've got my Q, what letter needs to go next to it? That's right, my U. Quest, I, on. Question. That's my first one. Ready for my second one. Right, what's our word? Believe, that's right. Now I can also see another word hidden inside. Can you? So this one we've looked at before. It's got this word inside. Lie. Never believe a lie. Lie is spelt L-I-E. Because this is the tricky part of the word. Believe. Sounds like it's just got an E sound without our I. So it reminds us to put our I in the word. Believe. Say the rhyme with me. Never believe a lie. Right, this one down here. What's our word? Learn. That's right. I can see another word hidden inside. I like this one a lot. This one helps us with lots of our words on the three and four word list. It is learn, and it has an ear in it. Do you know any other words which use the word ear inside as well? Have a think. I know some of the three and four word list. This is mine. Are you ready? I'm going to write it over here. Can you work out what I'm writing? Here. I hear with my ear. So if I can spell ear, I can spell hear, learn. I can also change this and add my T on the end and I can spell the word heart as well. You'll notice that ear is inside both of these words in the middle. Can you think of any words where ear is at the beginning from our three and four word list? I know these ones. Earth. And also we have this one here. Early. So just by being able to spell the word ear, it's helped us as a spelling strategy 
for four more of our words. But this is our word that we're going to focus on for our spellings this week. Learn. Right, our last word that you're working on with me today. Often. What word can you see inside? You might see the word of. And hopefully you've seen the word ten as well. So again, when I'm spelling that word, I think of of ten. Of ten. I wouldn't say it like that if I'm speaking. I'd say often. But when I'm writing it and I'm checking back through and editing my work, I think of of ten to help myself. Hopefully, by looking carefully at our spelling words, you're able to see other words inside and that often helps us lots. I'm going to pass you back to Mr Preston to carry on with your lesson. See you all soon. Bye. Thanks Miss Cole. What great ways to remember those tricky spellings. For my four words that I've chosen to learn today, they've all got something in common. Can you spot what it is? Have a look closely at the letters and let's read them. Enough, though, thought and through. Can you spot anything that's the same? Well done if you notice that all of these spellings have these four letters in. O-U-G-H. And I call these O-U Grumpy Hippo words. Let me show you why. O-U Grumpy Hippo helps me remember that all of these words have O-U-G-H in. The O-U is obviously the letters O-U, and then Grumpy Hippo, well, the G is for Grumpy, and the H is for Hippo. Can you spot any O-U-G-H words in this cartoon? O-U Grumpy Hippo, enough with feeling blue. You might be rough and tough, but you just won't pass through. Stop pushing your hardest. Don't plough through the poor tree. Squeeze under the low bough and walk around it. See? Can you spot it in these words? Look. Enough. O, U, G for grumpy, H for hippo. Though. O, U, grumpy hippo. Thought. O, U, grumpy hippo. T through. R o, U, grumpy hippo. And the great thing about this word here, though, is because if you learn how to spell though, you get a bonus year three, four word as well. Let me show you why. Because another word on the year three, four spelling list is although. So if you remember to add an A and an L at the start, I know when we spell the word all on its own, we normally put two L's on it. But for although, you just, just the one L. And then we know how to spell though. Or, remember what comes next? That's right, it's an O-U Grumpy Hippo word, so it must be O-U-G-H. Now the tricky thing about O-U Grumpy Hippo words is that the O-U-G-H has a mind of its own and makes all sorts of different sounds in different words. For example, in enough, it's making an up and up sound at the end. In though, it's a tetragraph making O. A tetragraph is when four letters make one sound. In thought, it's making a th or t sound, so it's making a O, or, in through, it's making an oo sound. O, or, oo, and then O again. So they make different sounds in lots of different words. But if you remember when you're spelling a word that is an OU Grumpy Hippo word, it'd be a great way to remember how to, how to spell it. So now we've practiced these words and Miss Cole's words, I think we're ready to have a practice. And I've got a really fun way for you to do it today. Let me show you. So to practice your spellings in a fun way this week, you're gonna need some chalk or some way of writing outside if possible. I've got some chalk here and the first thing I'm gonna do is write the alphabet on the ground. When you've got the alphabet written on the ground, you can either choose yourself or you could get someone to shout out some of the words you've practiced today. And your job is to try and jump from letter to letter to try and spell it. Let me show you. I'm gonna try with the word enough. E, N, and then I know it's O, you grumpy hippo. O, uh, U, G, Oh, that's a far one, it's all the way over there. H. 
enough. Maybe try one of Miss Cole's one. What's one Miss Cole's? Maybe we'll try the little. L E A R N. Learn. Hopefully, I've done playing that. And just in case it is raining when you watch this, your spellings are on Spelling Shed as always. You'll just need to go to more lists and look for this week's date, which is the 29th of June. And there are the year three, four spelling words that Miss Cole and I have talked about today. There are also within your spelling words, if you look through, you'll find that the whole year three, four spelling word list, it's towards the end, is on there for you. And it's been split up into one, two and three chili challenges. So if you wanted to practice the whole word list, start with one chili and you'll be able to find them there. If you're finding the three, four word list a little bit challenging to start with, which is fine, there are also the year three rocket words on there, which are the ones we did before the three, four word list. Here they are. There are the one chili. There are the year three rocket word lists as well. So there are lots of playlists on there for you to get your teeth into over the next few weeks. Before we go, should we have a look at who's been doing a brilliant job on Spelling Shed this week? A big well done to Isabel, PL, Noah and Thomas in 3SB, Simapreet, Isla and Alice in 3C, Riley T, Erin and Betsy in 3H and Tyler, Samuel and Charlie in 3P for being in the top three in their class on Spelling Shed. Overall in year three, well done to Isabel PL in 3SB for being third overall, Simapreet in 3C for finishing second and a huge well done to Riley T in 3H for not only being first in year three but also being top of the entire school. Well done everyone, we're very proud of you.